Hello and welcome back, folks. I'm Manic Mink. This is European Universalis 4. When we last left off, we were doing kind of okay, I guess. You know, give or take. Ooh, that's nice. 160 uh, administrative power. That's an odd sound. Um, either either our heat just turned on, or the house is exploding again. And I don't know which one that is. <laughs> Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, um... Right, where was I before that, uh, horrible squealing noise happened? Uh... Right, we are... Trying to do a bunch of stuff, but we have to do it inside the Holy Roman Empire, and that is... Most unfortunate. Uh, here comes the Doomstack from... Everyone, uh, see where they go this time. You are marching to Vorpommern, okay? So we will all march to Vorpommern. You get there on the 16th of April. Let's slow it down a bit. 13, 14, 15, 16, there. Everybody march to here now. And come on. We will win this battle, but it will take uh, quite a lot of... Uh, quite a lot of manpower by the looks of it. Also quite a lot of... Um, uh, just quite a lot of everything. Why do I have such terrible rolls? Jeez. Okay, I won. These guys are fleeing. Let's march over here. Uh, let's take you and... need to crush these guys as quickly as we can. Right, so this will be 20,000 troops crushed there. Nope, okay. Never mind. Thought for sure that would be them, but uh, this is apparently not them. In the treasury, sure. Good, we destroyed that army. Uh... Who else is running away down to there, somewhere? So maybe try and... Can we get Bohemia out of this war? France is a 43... 31, 12, 2. They have a weird composition in terms of uh, military. Let's just come back up here, and you can go over here. <sighs> Alright. Uh, national decision, no, I don't want to do that. I'd like to... I took the mission to, uh, to claim Stettin, by the way. In case that was not, uh... Not apparent by me having that mission. Um, or construction of Vorpommern? Oh, right, that's a country that has a core there, so... Right, right. We need it for this, um, for our next set of ideas, we need 360. We have 241. We just siege through that already? Come on. Uh, you guys not reinforcing very much at all, unfortunately. How's the siege going? That's liege is... oh, okay, fine, I'll do this. Um, let's get out of this by taking Mecklenburg, sure. So just demands... Uh, 
Um, no, we'll just do that. Okay. Let's uh, spend administrative power, yes. Lions from Sax Lounberg, yes, we want that. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. These two we need to deal with. You, let's march you back up here. You, let's march you. Um, I guess you can go over here and you can stay here. Right. Decline. Fuck you, Mecklenburg, we don't care. So we do have some aggressive expansion currently and we do need to burn that down. Um, Pomerania. Yeah, again. problems on all this end. Holstein is allied with France and has to declare war on you. Would you... France would not join Spain would. Yeah. I don't know how to deal with Holstein, honestly. It's going to be problematic. Let's do that, because really we're more interested in getting uh, our next diplomatic idea this way. Um, right, Riga. Let's improve relations with our ally over here. <clears throat> How's Poland doing? Poland allied with Lithuania, Austria, Spain, the Papal State. Area, Papal State, Muscovy. Only in order, Austria, Rez, and Trebizond. Damn it. As you may be able to tell, I very much dislike, um... You know, having to do the whole, uh... Song and dance with alliances, because I can't get into war with Muscovy, because Muscovy's allied with everyone. Can't go to war with Livonian Order, because Livonian Order is allied with Muscovy. Can't go to war with Pomerania, because... Well, I could go to war with Pomerania, but I have to get ready for that. And, again, with that as well... Palatinate is definitely the elector of choice. Also need to go to war with Holstein, who's allied with France. Which is going to be, you know, freaking pleasant. Uh, in that it will be terrible, and I will hate it. Um, right, feudal monarchy, administrative monarchy, production efficiency, national tax modifier. Absolute monarchy is revolt risk discipline. Uh, enlightened despotism. Manpower, spy defense, core creation costs, constitutional monarchy, legitimacy, prestige decay, manpower recovery. I might go with that. Um, obviously, 10% manpower modifier is very helpful, but... You know, I have to take sort of what I can get, I guess. You're allied with everybody, you're allied with everybody. Great Britain is falling apart. Austria, um, I can improve relations with Austria. Sure, that works. Don't want to spend any of my minute or my uh, power because I'm trying to get to my next tier of stuff. Um, right. So you are full up. You are not. You are not. Combat with 17. Uh, let's go... 
Factories now, that's not worth it. Um, stability cost. Army tradition, leaders without upkeep. Manpower increased defensiveness. Prestige. Uh, <laughs> Gonna build a war college in uh, Finland, sure. Um, should I spend my points? Yes, I should because this helps my economy more. It's unfortunate that um, we just don't have the sort of troops or ability to really fight in either of the theaters that we need to, either here against Muscovy or uh, in the central sort of Holy Roman Empire. Because I'd like to be able to do that, but, um, you know, uh, just not going to happen, I guess. <coughs> also need to rebuild all our manpower. I'm going to be bigger than that. Um, right. Uh, so I need 6,000 in each of these 11. Each of these uh, 11 unit groups. Okay, let's go this, this, increase maintenance, good. Uh, Hanoverian Patriots. You, I think, no, you are the one with my, uh, leader. Yeah, I'm trying to kill you, I forgot. Because you're terrible. Mm. Holstein declared war on Lundberg. With Holstein. I could go to war with Holstein and try and take their whole country, but they are allied with. Oh, they're only allied with Hess. Oh, opportunities, opportunities, perhaps. Okay, let's get you. Get over here. You. 13. This might be the time to do it, because you are no longer allied with France. And you're at war with France. Oh, yes, please. Yes, double please. Yes, all the pleases. Um... Do I have a claim on you, though? That's the thing. Take Schleswig. Um, let's cancel military access, quickly. Eight, uh, sweating sickness. Uh, loses stability because that's actually easier to recover. I'll do two because I'm gonna have to lose one because I'm married to you guys right now. Uh, you guys are on your way. Good. Good. I'll actually march you over here as well, just because I'll need your help. Uh, and you are fighting now. Good, good, good. Thalmacy, let's fabricate a claim in Launberg. This will be taking everything, please. Uh, diplomat, let's fabricate a claim. <laughs> You're only allied with Hess. You're at war with everyone else. Yes, 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 this is extra good. So I can go to war with you for essentially not much. 
Let's uh, stop improve relations here. 22 days. I'm going to declare war with you in 22 days. Um, actually, I should... Eight, nine, five, four, three, two, one, zero, declare war. Uh, 75% aggressive expansion for full annexation, sure. Declare war, yes, 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 you. 14th of November, 18th of November. Are you marching somewhere? No, you are not. She's just going to march you there, sure. Uh, and military ideas. Let's go... I know that I am a bit falling behind, but this will be very helpful. So I get both of those then. Holstein and Hess are the only ones... Fighting against me, overextension is high. Yes, I know, I'm managing it. It's just gonna take forever, okay? It's just gonna take forever. This is uh, October 1649 or 1639 or whatever. Good, I don't even have to fight your troops. This siege, France is in charge of it. Low maintenance on our navy, that's okay. Uh, spices are fur, farm estate, textile manufacturing. Now I want to hold off a little bit longer because then I get this at 360 and then I can go from uh, 8 out of 4 to 8 out of 6 as opposed to uh, losing a lot more. Let's march down here, sure. Holstein doesn't really have a navy. Hess doesn't have a navy, so this is good, good, good. Good, 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 good. Stettin, you're allied with Bohemia and Oldenburg. Uh, we still need 16,000 troops, which is a lot, if we're being honest, but... Start building these again. These should help. Um, 97, 98, 98, 82, 82, 82, sure. Um, I don't want to spend any of those because I need one more month and then I can get that. And this will be good. Yes, very good, very, very good. Perfect. You here. Uh, next one cost reducing war exhaustion, CB against other government types, diplomatic influence. Flexible negotiation and lowered impact on stability. So, now we're at 8 of 6. We gain 6 per turn. Fancy that, huh? Go us. We'll see in royal marriage. What could I get out of you? I could force you to become a vassal. That would probably be the easiest. Yes, that actually would be the easiest. Let's actually march you down here because you're still at war with France, so... Uh, yeah, you'll do fine. Uh, stability drop. Oh, joy, our... Ah, uh, our decent king died, and now we have King Crapface the Stupid Bucket. Who is his name, I believe. Um, checked his birth certificates, and it seems to be, uh, seems to be his actual name, yes? 
Uh, and we just spent all of our uh, administrative points as well, and our diplomatic points, so... This will be an interesting time. Uh, I am going to let this continue... Actually, no, we're going to stop here, but I will pick it up next time. I just gotta figure out what I need to do next time. Um, vassal? What do I need? Zero diplomatic power. That's fairly easy. Um, if I can force you to be a vassal, then that'll be... yeah. Actually, I might hold off. I might hold off until these sieges finish and then try to force you to be a vassal. That might be the easiest, uh, easiest option here. Uh, we'll speed through these. Hopefully you should surrender soon. Come on, you know you want to. Show province, you're still at war with France. Siege of Holstein is over. I send you up here again, finally, so that you can just sort of get out of the way and relax a bit, recover some manpower. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's good. And this, we are now leader of the siege uh, against these guys. Show province. Yep, they stopped the war there. Mm-hmm. This should be fairly straightforward, because... Hess isn't one of the electors, is it? Hess, Hess is a blue... lion tigery thing. No, you are not an elector. Okay. To the last man. Good. Good. You. You. Uh, vassal. And... Give us some money, and... no. Okay. Perfect. Here, here... Uh... You're in a coalition against us, that's fine. You... We should probably improve relations with you, I guess. Um, we do have a lot of problems now, because we took a vassal. Uh... Mecklenburg? No, I think I'll keep that, thank you. Um, let's just make sure that everybody... There, let's improve relations here. Good. Uh, these should go away pretty soonish. Right, so, we did good. Um, we took our... Uh, our, I think, like, three or four time former vassal now, back to being our vassal again? I don't... I don't fully know, to be honest with you. Um... Let's do... this and here. Here... 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 Sort of building these willy-nilly, I suppose, and then... Yeah, we did good. We did, we uh, we got everything sort of that we wanted to get... ...sorted. Now they are our vassal. They will hopefully improve... ...a lot. And, uh, we can... Yeah, we can, uh, we can finally... ...sort of make good progress. Right, but I'm going to stop it here because we've been running for a while. Uh, Alright, I'll build one more building. Fine. And there. Okay. So, we'll pick this up next time. This is how the world looks. Uh, I am Manic Mink. This is Europe Universalis 4. See you next time. Take care.